<laughs> Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk about Apple. Apple had a media event today talking about some of the new services they're going to be offering on the iOS platform and on Mac. Despite what you may think, Apple is not new to services. Remember me.com, iDisk, and recently Apple Music. These are all services that Apple has provided to you, the iOS user. On top of some quality of life additions to the original Apple News program, Apple has provided a new service called Apple News Plus. This service is heavily based on magazines and offers a one-stop shop for subscriptions to a multitude of magazines and not just any magazines very very popular magazines such as entertainment weekly espn gq health pc gamer pc magazine oprah magazine time people sports illustrated all these are available on apple news plus in addition to the magazines you also get digital publications such as the wall street journal the los angeles times and the toronto star which is canada's largest daily newspaper apple news plus launches today and costs nine dollars and 99 cents in the u.s and twelve dollars and 99 cents in canada it'll be available in other countries in the future the next thing apple announced was some improvements to apple pay namely the apple card this is a digital credit card that apple is now providing via goldman sachs it's going to be a mastercard card and it will be stored digitally in your wallet app. One of the unique things about this card is that it generates a new security code every time you make a purchase and you don't need to have a CVV, a signature, a credit card number or anything. The physical card is titanium, does not contain a credit card number, CVV or a signature. It simply has your name and a chip. Details on what you're purchasing is stored locally to prevent any ad targeting. Apple offers a very, very attractive 2% cash back reward and 3% cash back reward for Apple purchases that's paid daily into your Apple Pay account, which is actual cash. On top of that, Apple claims that they won't have any late fees or increased interest rates for late payments. No details will share it on what is actually done, so we'll have to wait and see. Apple also announced a gaming service called Apple Arcade. This subscription service includes access to over 100 new and exclusive games that can be played both offline and online across the iOS devices. So if you have an iPhone, iPad, Mac, or Apple TV, these games can be played on there under one subscription fee with family sharing support. Apple Arcade will launch in fall of 2019 in more than 150 countries on iOS, macOS, and tvOS. No price was given on the subscription service, but I imagine it'll be between $5 and $10. The last thing Apple announced was an update to the Apple TV. They added a channel service which allows you to customize your Apple TV experience with custom channels such as HBO, Showtime, and other programming that you may be paying for such as Hulu and other online services. Apple also announced a new service called Apple TV Plus. This service is aiming to provide original content from megastars such as Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Steven Spielberg, Jason Momoa, Steve Carell, Alfred Woodard, and more. All in all, it seems like direct competition to other providers such as Hulu, Netflix, YouTube TV, and Amazon Prime. Overall, I think it's a solid offering, especially if you already exist in the iOS ecosystem. While some of this may seem most of the same, I think the magazines from Apple News and the original content on Apple TV may separate Apple from its competitors. While the competitors are offering their own original content, Apple seems to have gone really hard on getting some really big names to make this stuff. The video game service Apple Arcade may be a hard sell to most consumers, but overall, I think people will enjoy it. Apple Card sounds too good to be true, and usually when it's too good to be true, it probably is. So we're going to be waiting on details to see what's going on with all those fees and everything. Kind of a strange event from Apple as we've never seen such a service focused thing before from them. I think this points to the future of the company and where they're going. This is Buona from Buona.tv and this is the Apple March event about all these services from Apple. Take care and have a great day. If you enjoyed the content, please click that subscribe button and ring the bell for updates and also join my Patreon at patreon.com slash This is how I make my living and you guys make it happen. Thank you so much.